Hello, it is Tom again, and I am here with yet another Sugar Bitches demo video. This time featuring, of course, the Sugar Bitches crossover blend pedal, which I make, and the Boss Phaser PH1R from the 70s, which I definitely did not make. Um, I originally plunked my dad. So this is one of the classics. Um, if you can find one. Kind of weird, actually. Um, and the interesting thing, I'm just going to go ahead and plug straight into it. The thing about some of these phasers, especially the uh, the Boss ones and anything with multiple stages or resonance, resonance like this, is that they add phasing sound to the clean sound. Also, this one has a broken debounce capacitor. So they get a whole lot louder when you turn them on. I mean, can you catch that? And so now... Not only do they get louder, but uh, when all those, uh, when it gets in phase on the root, kind of gets out of control a little bit. So if you're interested in the top uh, sort of resonant flangey sound, that's the top part of the phaser, it's a little bit uncivilized. If you're not, it might be just fine, just like that. So that's fine, but we're here really to talk about how it behaves when crossed over and blended yeah, with a crossover blend setup. So I can get it to turn on again. Poor thing, I really need to... What's going on here? Right, come on. Did my power just go out? Huh. All right, let me get that to turn on. Hmm, that was a little strange. Aha, uh -huh. shorting out the positive to the uh, case. Yes, so that was my fault. Oh, I can't remember, is this a... Yeah, it's also an inverting pedal. They really didn't care about phase back in the day, did they? All of these vintage pedals are, are uh, inverting. Well, so the first thing is you can even up the levels just by cutting it back a little bit. So yeah, when you when you don't phase the very lowest frequencies, you lose a little bit of that big woofing thing it gets when it goes down to the bottom of the range. And this is pretty much what a bass phaser does anyway. And of course the more aggressive you get with the feedback. I don't like too much resonance um, in my phase, but I also like it going really slow. Of course, I'm also likely to be running a bit of grit and maybe some other delay or something with it so that you can hear you can hear all of the phasing because phasing isn't one of the more subtle effects anyway I don't know really not much else to say about that except there it is <laughs> 